guys. I'm going to teach you how to use PayPal with ClickFunnels. And uh, if you're a little intimidated and it sounds complicated, it kind of is, except for if you're using this cool little plugin that I use. Um, it's an app called Funnelish. Um, it does have a small monthly price that comes with it. Um, personally, I think if you're running anything more than 100 bucks in ads to your funnel every month, then it's worth it. Um, you only need one person to buy every month to one more person to buy every month to make this plugin worth it. But um, I'm going to show you here. Um, it's called app.funnelish.com. There's a link down below. Click that link and it'll take you there. And uh, basically, you'll add a funnel to it. You're going to add a funnel name. You're going to add a webhook URL, which ClickFunnels is going to give you. And, and don't worry, this guy has all the documentation that you need to do this. You're going to select PayPal plugin. You're going to click create. Oh, I did not actually. Something like that is what the webhook will look like. You're going to click create testing sheesh okay and then it's gonna give you a funnel okay and then you're gonna tell it which funnel steps need to have that PayPal plugin okay so you're gonna add funnel steps right here okay so you'll add the steps this is this first step and this is the uh, variation or the control um, if you're doing a B testing okay and then you need to explain is it an OTO page a thank you page or an order form you would click create and then you'll add the well, I'll show you this just to show you how easy it is. Testing.com, testing.com slash A. I wonder if it's going to let me do this. Okay, it's letting me. Um, then I'm going to go right here where it says zero products. And I'm going to add products. Okay, so you just name the product. Um, product A, price 500. <clears throat> and then it's going to fill it with this code right here. Just ignore that. And then click create, and you're done. Funnelish is going to give you a little snippet of code, okay? When you first go to set it up, and you're going to take that snippet of code, and you're going to plug it into your funnel header right here, okay? You're going to plug it right into there, and then you're done, okay? It's going to automatically insert um, everything you need to have PayPal uh, running on your site. It's, it really is that easy. It isn't as crazy as it sounds. Um, I'm going to show you on mine, just so you know. All right, I'm so sorry. I glitched there for a minute, went to the wrong funnel. Um, but anyway, it's going to look just like this, okay? There's the course. Um, there's the credit card option, or they can click PayPal. Ding! They click to sign up. And it hopefully will pull up PayPal. It'll actually have the order bump option. Um, if they had selected the order bump there, I guess I should have helped you to see that. Um, if there was an order bump, you could easily add the order bump, and PayPal will run that as well, which is almost impossible to do with any other thing. So I forgot I don't have an order bump on this page yet. Anyway, that is ClickFunnels. Um, that is the app.funnelish.com. Um, very cool, very easy. It looks really nice, and it does it all for you. You don't have to do any coding or anything like that. It took me about 20 minutes to set up. Um, so grab it while you can. Um, I know he, I know his price has gone up a couple times already because he started out um, very, very, very cheap, but he's adding a lot more plugins and apps and things like that. So PayPal and ClickFunnels.